Each day when Sonia woke up, her mother asked her a question. How will you help today? Mommy was a nurse who helped people at a hospital every day. Sonia wanted to help too. So each morning, Sonia set about to have a good answer for Mommy's question. One morning, Sonia knew just how she was going to help that day. She filled two shopping bags with candy bars, warm socks, nice soaps, sunglasses, pens, and notepads. When Sonia boarded the school bus, the driver helped her carry her bags up the steps. What's all this? She asked Sonia. We're sending care packages to American soldiers overseas, Sonia said. We are back with Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor. That was an excerpt read by Kerry Washington from the Justice's newest children's book, Just Help, How to Build a Better World. Justice Sotomayor, as little Sonia was asked by her mother in the book, how will you help today? How do you answer that today? Uh, how do you help today? Oh, I'm here with you, aren't I? <laughs> well, that is a help. <laughs> That's charity. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> No, uh, I do. Before I go to bed, Tamron, I don't ask myself that question in the morning. I ask myself before I go to bed. Mm. Two questions. Um, before I fall asleep, I ask myself, what new thing have I learned today? And so somewhat easy most of the time, but occasionally I'm just working on one case. But I always have reading material next to me at, at my bed that I can turn to before I fall asleep. And the next question is always, what did I do to help today? Hmm. Someone or something. Sometimes I've had meetings with kids or I've had meetings with adults or with people or I've done activities that satisfy that answer. Occasionally I've been too busy at my office and I haven't been able to do something concrete. So what do I do? I think about a friend who might be sick or suffered a loss and I get on email if it's not too late and I write to them. Wow. And I ask them how they're doing and how they're feeling. Yeah. I'll talk to them about what I'm doing and try to tell a funny story or share something important. But just a moment to reach out to someone who I perceive in need, and then I can fall asleep. Hmm. And today, my plan was to speak to you about my book, but also to engage in eye eye conversation with you with kids. Wow. To talk to them about how they can help each day. Mm. So much of this obviously is inspired by your mother, and I should note you lost your mother just last year. What a remarkable parent joining the Army. I relate, my dad was in the Army, and then later in life becoming a nurse in her 40s. Just an exceptional human being that inspired this beautiful book. I am also curious, you talked about part of the day it's talking with young children. And I've heard your comments about cameras in the courtroom in the past saying that, you know, it would change the dynamic perhaps and, and we would see maybe some behavioral changes because of the cameras. But since you are so relatable to young people through the book, through your writings, through even tonally how you present yourself, um, the modern pop culture view of the court, particularly with RBG, you know, the documentary, the notorious RBG. What are your thoughts on the popularizing and the pop culture aspect that it seems younger people appreciate about the court, especially female justices? Well, we do live in a society of pop culture and fame holds some importance to young people. I do think it's important not to think about the court as an institution for entertainment. We are there engaged in a very serious inquiry of parties who have very significant cases before us. And they want to ensure that we are not playing to a larger audience, but that we're really concentrating on them and their issues. And I think a camera could change that. As with all things, however, I hope that children and adults realize that we judges have personal lives like everyone else, but that's a very different personality than the one we show in the courtroom. If most people who have watched me in the courtroom describe me as very fierce and intense, and I am, 
I'm very, very closely listening to what everyone is saying and trying to figure out what they're thinking. And I know that I occasionally scare people. That's not my intent. My intent is always to be as engaged in that process as I can be. Mm. And I think it's important for kids and for adults to know that what they see in a movie, like on RBG, who I miss horribly, um, she was a great, great friend, that that's not the person that they necessarily will see in their work setting. And so I think that difference is important. Well, thank you for indulging my questions. And I have on that last note say that every time I go to the Bronx Zoo, I am reminded it is one of my favorite places. And I'm told often it is one of your favorite places as well. It most <laughs> certainly is. But I hope that your child's new favorite place will be the Bronx Children's Museum. Absolutely. Which is waiting to be opened, we hope, this year. We cannot. I've been very actively involved with the Children's Museum for years. I think it's such an important institution for the Bronx. And one final thing about Just Help, if you'll permit me. Please. The book is about teaching children, or not teaching, because I think kids learn without being taught. But having students, having children understand how much power they have to change the world. Yes. You know, so many of them will look at me and say, what can I do? And my answer is always so much. Mm. In little things and in big things, just because you're little doesn't mean you can't do big things. And that's the... And so that's for every child who I hope reads Just Help, You'll come away with some ideas of the kinds of things you can do, but you can also write me and tell me about the projects that you thought up on your own. Wow. And educate me on new ways to help. Wow. Well, congratulations on this beautiful book. Justice Sonia Sotomayor, thank you for joining the TAM fam. And the book, of course, Just Help, How to Build a Better World, is out now.